in uh, 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 Chennai. And the Rajiv Gandhi Hospital, the Rila Hospital, in the Umbad surgeries, either nine liver transplants have been done. In fact, the Dean Madras Medical College would have I was talking to the Dean. The Dean MMC, Dr. Kirti Rajan, told me, Sir, the first transplant surgery when we took, it was at 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. Dr. Rila came to the hospital at 3.30 a.m. All the patients are doing well. Most important, Mr. Gagandhi is a sick baby. I mean, he is well known to Tamil Nadu. He has contributed hugely to the states. Uh, he was a corporation commissioner. He dealt with the floods, I don't know if you have heard, seven years ago now. Um, and um, now he is actually the additional chief secretary. So that's a very important post in addition to him being a very efficient health secretary. And I've interacted with him uh, more recently and uh, he's, he's an extremely talented and dynamic leader that we have in our state. And when I asked him, I know my team went to see you and your calendar was full and in spite of that you told your secretary to create space for this event. The reason why I felt that you should be there is really to see what India can do for our neighboring countries. And I want to thank you, sir, for allocating the time for us, first of all. And then I want to thank uh, Mr. Mohammed Tawfiq bin Ismail, your friend, Ali Sheikh uh, Fazilat and Ms. Sir Mujib. Let me just call this is the wife of uh, your uh, one of us, the Mujib Rashid Mujib Rahman, is it not? Yes. yes. Um, specialist Hospital and Nursing College of Bangladesh. And uh, we very much wanted this association because, as you know, uh, even our um, uh, chief guest said that we have a very good relationship with Bangladesh. And uh, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh is very fond of India because it was India which supported it. It's actually a family matter for Bangladesh. The association is very much a family matter not just a political matter. I don't know how many of you are old enough to have seen the war. I was. Many of you may not have even known the war uh, Bangladesh. I mean, it's, it's called the uh, indo pak War. I want to say something about it. I've been speaking to people about the word Indo-Pakistan War. In fact, it wasn't an Indo-Pakistan War. It was uh, Pakistan with Bangladesh War. But India supported Bangladesh, but it is called the Indo-Pakistan War, actually. I know a lot of you guys are a little bit sure about that as well. Uh, I just wanted to say that here. So it's just to say the association that India had with Bangladesh has been very, very strong. And I want to thank uh, His Excellency Mr. Shelly Salehi, that's a lovely name. Um, the Deputy High Commissioner of Bangladesh, as well as His Excellency Mr. Sarvana Kumar, Kumar Vasa. And again, it's a lovely name, very similar to Kumar Asambo. I don't know if you know Kumar Asambo, I don't know how many of you know Kumar Asambo. Kumar Vasa. And I want to thank my friend, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Al Mahtab. He's been a great supporter for many, many years. We have known each other for many years. And uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Ilan Kumar, and the CEO, for organizing this. And Mohammed Farooq, I can't believe Mohammed Farooq. Everybody thinks he's me sometimes. Uh, so, let me just say, what are we doing here? And why are we doing here? You know, I've been involved in the field of liver transplantation now for 30, 32 years, 33 years. And I was asked how many transplants have I done. I've done close to 6,000 liver transplants over the 30, 33 or 34 years. Um, and I used to, I worked in King's College Hospital uh, most of the time. I've been in India now for 14 years. The remaining 20 years was spent in England as a professor of liver transplant surgery at King's College Hospital. And I used to visit India. Any meeting in liver disease and transplantation, people would invite me to India and ask to say, when is it? This is 20 years ago, 25 years ago, people would say, when is liver transplantation going to come to India? We do cardiac surgery now. Liver transplantation, people have to go abroad. And I always said, 
I mean, at that, at that time, I had no intention of returning back to India. Uh, I always said it will be there, and you just have to put your efforts together. Because river transplant operation is not like any other operation. It requires a huge teamwork. The second question, which is very often asked, is it's a very expensive operation. Even now, it costs around 22, 25 lakhs at best. And who is it going to serve? Is this operation only going to serve the rich people? And I always said, when you develop such a specialized field in your country, I call it in your country, in India, but I was in the UK at that time, it is my country now. I mean, it has been my country all the time, even though I don't hold an Indian passport, unfortunately. I always say, when you develop liver transplantation, a complex specialty like that, you develop all other specialties. You develop general medicine, hepatology, you develop microbiology, techniques in microbiology, you develop pathology, so many radiology, so many other specialties will also develop to such a high standard that it will benefit all other patients. So this was always my argument. You develop liver transplantation in a hospital, that hospital will be one of the best equipped hospitals to manage all other diseases. So it's important to develop liver transplantation. Maybe not everybody can afford it. But now that has changed. That has changed in this state. Who will now imagine any poor patient who can't afford anything can afford a liver transplant because the government of Tamil Nadu fully supports the cost of liver transplantation. Only state. Other states might say, Tamil Nadu is not 